to Nigeria where the impact of the coronavirus pandemic and the fall in oil price have forced Nigeria to slip into recession. The West African nation's economy was largely brought to its needs in the final quarter due to the poor performance of the oil sector. Authorities say as the country pedals its way out of the economic effects of the global health crisis, authorities were entangled with a nationwide protest of the NSAS movement. Here are more details of that in this report. It was always known that Nigeria's economy was going to contract in the third quarter and slip into recession after a second quarter contraction. What was difficult to tell was by how much the economy was going to contract. The Nigeria Bureau of Statistics has now put the third quarter contraction at 3.62 percent. Second quarter contraction was 6.10 percent. The oil sector was largely responsible for the slowdown in the economic activity in this third quarter as it recorded a very sharp contraction of minus 13.89%, the largest decline in this quarter in the past 14 quarters. The slowdown in global economic growth and oil demand consequent upon COVID-19 pandemic, as well as our obligations to meet OPEC cuts, were principally responsible for the slowdown in the oil and gas sector. For the better part of this year, Nigeria's economy had literally been on a lockdown as authorities struggled to contain the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. The collapse in the price of oil globally worsened matters for the country, which heavily relies on revenue from crude sales to drive its economy. And then there was the hashtag NSAS protest, which happened just as the country was emerging from the COVID-19-induced lockdown. All of this combined with other factors to throw the country into its present recession. These are difficult times and that the government had had to take some very difficult decisions. There are some reforms that have been taken that have not, could not be taken for years. And while we recognize that things are very difficult, let us encourage the people that are working on these reforms so that they can have the strength to continue. The government is optimistic the recession will be short-lived. Minister of Finance Zainab Ahmed says the country will exit the recession by the fourth quarter or at worst the first quarter of 2021. But with labor unions and the country poised for a general strike over the increase in petrol price, that could derail the anticipated recovery. Our expectations of a quick exit, which must be historically, which will be historically fast, is anchored on the several complementary real uh, fiscal, real real sector and monetary interventions that have been proactively introduced by government to forestall a far worse decline of the economy and alleviate the negative consequences of the pandemic. Well, if you have another strike or protest on account of labor strike, it's going to be a major setback for all the recovery efforts or prospects for the Nigerian economy. We have not fully recovered from the shock and the devastation of the NSAS protest. A lot of investors are still counting their losses. The economy is yet to, is yet to, restore, to, 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 to be restored to normalcy and all of that. But most importantly, Nigeria will be hoping that the global economy gathers steam as soon as possible, especially with the recent announcements around COVID-19 vaccines. If the global economy continues to slow down, as we are seeing at the moment, then it's inevitable that Nigeria's recovery would be delayed.